The no quarter catch crew versus Tyson and Tyreek. Allow me. Oh, like this was it. Okay. All right. I'm going to tell everybody what happened. I've I've ranted for uh, an hour oh, now. Oh, of course. I may uh, not have it in me. Now I understand. Yeah. Right. But uh, I'm just going to tell everybody what happened, and then and then we'll go from there. So it is supposed to be the no quarter catch crew against the two guys who they refuse to identify, but they finally put graphics on the screen. It is Tyson Dupont and Tyreek Igwe. These were the guys that debuted last week. Only the second time they've ever put the graphic on the screen with their names. So, they get in the ring, and the match is about to begin. No quarter catch crew against Tyson and Tyreek. Dempsey and Miles. And the ring announcer suddenly announces that the ref was unavailable. And she dramatically looks to her side like the fucking campiest. Uh, the, the ring announcer for this evening is unavailable. She looks, and there is Luca Crucifino and two ugly henchmen. We are to believe that they took care of this referee. Now, I believed murdered, murdered, and I was having a discussion with somebody there. I was very upset about this segment, and they go, he wasn't murdered, and they actually sent me a screenshot of the referee bound and gagged and shoved in the back of a car. Oh, this is better. <laughs> He's not dead. He's merely being fucking tortured. Okay. He fell in with the mob. What do you think is what do you what do you think is better if you fall in with the mob? Like just being dead or being tortured, kidnapped, well, neither, taken against your will. Neither is ideal. And God only knows what. Yeah. Well, the ref's gone. Yeah. So they announce the referee for tonight, Stax Lorenzo. Where in the fuck is Ava? Where is Ava? Don't know. A referee just got fucking bound, gagged, kidnapped, and God only knows if we'll ever see this guy again. And then the mob boss's henchman is assigned referee for this match, and nobody does anything, so he gets in the ring. So, he's being a hard ass to Dempsey and Miles. You know, Dempsey wants to tag in, and Stax goes, you can't tag in. You gotta be in the corner. And Dempsey walks to the corner, tries to tag in. Stax, you can't tag in. You gotta hold the fucking rope. Gets the rope. Finally lets him tag in. And uh, they're doing this match, and the crowd isn't even really into it, because it's fucking ridiculous. Stax is, it's just ridiculous with Stax is the completely biased referee so dempsey hits his german with a bridge on tyreek it was so awesome yes and uh and stacks drops down and he goes <laughs> guy kicks out Booker is apoplectic. What the fuck is going on with this referee? Jesus, this fucking ref. And Vic Joseph, Vic fucking Joseph, the babyface announcer goes, what are you talking about, Booker? I said, what? Vic says, he's doing a great job. He's just making sure the shoulders are down. So then... Dempsey is yelling at the ref. Tyreek rolls him up. And Stax gives him the fastest fucking count ever. Totally. It's over. And Booker is aghast. And Vic is sitting there acting like this was a totally fair count. He's the babyface announcer. And so, like, I, I, at first, I'm so fucking furious. Like, you're, you get on Vic every week, and I, 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 like, I don't always defend Vic, but, like, he doesn't bother me like he bothers you. Seems like a friendly chap. He likes to eat his fucking candy, and, you know, 
And that's not even like a, an, an, a, a, a whatever. He actually likes candy, like sugar. He's just eating it through the show. Seems like a nice fella and everything like that. Says some dumb shit here and there. But this one, this one, I was, I was like, what in the fuck are you talking about? This fucking guy did the slowest count ever. And you're saying, oh, he's just making sure the shoulders are down. And then we have the fastest fucking count ever. And Vic goes, oh, that's a, what are you talking about, Booker? That was a totally fair count. So I'm fucking steaming at this point. And then, and then it suddenly hit me. What was actually going on? Yes. And that is the murderers, the kidnappers, the people that bound and gagged this fucking referee and took him perhaps to his death. They're the baby faces. Right. And so when they put stacks in the ring... He's a baby face. He's a baby face heel ref. Right. So he's fucking. The two guys getting fucked are supposed to be the heels. They're totally getting fucked by this guy. And the reason that Vic is sticking up for these heel shenanigans is because he's the babyface announcer sticking up for the babyfaces. I don't even think Booker had this figured out. I think Booker was, like, about to attack Vic because he couldn't fucking figure out why Vic is sticking up for this totally fucking biased heel ref. But the heel ref is a babyface heel ref! Fuck off. Fuck off with this. This is so... Stupid. It's this is stupid to like another level. Okay? This isn't tweener bullshit, shades of gray. This is fucking bullshit. God damn it, this made me mad. Fuck. I don't even know how I have the energy in me right now. I've been holding this in for two days. I thought it was over it. But the more I think about it, fuck off! God! How are they the fucking baby faces? They fucking kill people. They murder people. They fucking kidnapped and bound and gagged an innocent fucking man. And Ava's down with this. Because she's a baby face. Fuck off. God. I haven't been so mad in years. Years. I just want to point out. It's not just an innocent man. It's Ava's and Vic's and the ring announcer's colleague. They work with this guy. They work with him. They're familiar with him. <laughs> but they don't care that he was kidnapped. They don't know he was kidnapped. They just could have been dead. The, the mob has a uh, track record of killing people on the show. That has been established. That's canon. I need a fucking blood pressure monitor in this room and a defibrillator on the wall. If I ever have to talk about this fucking segment again... I'm turning pale. I hope I didn't have a heart attack. On top of all this, can I just say that it's Tyson and Tyreek's second TV match ever, which I did can write down here. Can you imagine being involved in this for your second match ever? Yeah. Can we just let them learn how to work first? No. And not have to deal with this? So, yes, that all happened. No one even acknowledged the fast count at the end. No. It just happened. No, I mean, Booker did. But Vic tried to claim it was a, a normal count. That's what happened. It was a segment on the show. And then... God. We're in the parking lot. Another one. Where Tony D and the family have apparently beaten and abducted both Miles Bourne and Damon Kemp. Both of them? I thought it was just uh, Damon. I thought it saw them both. I'm yeah, not going back to them. They drive away. Charlie Dempsey wanders out of the building... All alone, carrying this four-foot, probably 50-pound heritage cup. And he just looks around. His friends are gone. And this dickhead cameraman does not tell him, your friends were just no. kidnapped by murderous criminals. He's just uh, doing his job. That was NXT. He's just recording what happened. Yeah, yeah hey, highs and lows as always on uh, NXT there. But man, they had the lowest of lows at one point during this program. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.